Hi friends, it's Miss Janelle from Classroom A. Today I'm going to share with you a story called Read It, Don't Eat It. That's the title of the book. Tells what the book is about. And the author of the book is Ian Schoenher. Ian Schoenher, he's the author. Now what does an author do? Do you remember? That's right. He writes the word. Ian Schoenher is also the illustrator of this book, which means he drew the picture. Okay, we're ready to read the story. Read it. Don't eat it. Should we put books in our mouth and chew on them? Of course not. No dog ears, please. Dog ears is when you turn the pages over like that and bend. Find some place else to sneeze. If we sneeze in our book, what will happen? That's right, it will get all wet and germs would be all over and we wouldn't want to touch it again. Borrow it, don't steal. Borrow, don't steal. So if you take a book, somebody loans you a book, a friend or mom or dad, take good care of it and when you're done, give it back to them. Try not to squeal. In our classroom, we have what? A library where we can go and we can read our books and quiet. Rips and tears won't magically heal. If you rip the book, they're hard to fix. Miss Janelle had a book hospital. And sometimes I'm able to fix the book. But some of my friends will tell you, sometimes I can't. Don't overdo it, just renew it. Really, now there's nothing to it. When we go to the library, and we can take out a lot of books, but we have to remember they don't belong to us. We're just borrowing them. We have to re take them back. And most libraries give you about two to three weeks to borrow the book. If we don't take them back, they'll charge us money. Leave no trace, or at least erase. Try not to draw on your book. Don't eat when you're reading a book either. What will happen? Again, it will get all soggy and wet, and there'll be spots, and you won't be able to see, and germs. Don't censor, delete, or deface. Hmm, they're all new words for us. Censor, delete, or deface are other ways of saying destroy a book. Don't use marker in the book. See, he's using a marker. Don't cut up the book unless your mom or dad or your teacher says it's okay. Always return the book or keep them as good as new. It's not a platter or a stool. Should you stand on your book? No. You could get hurt. Be careful with it at the pool. Pretty soon it's going to be summertime and you'll get to go swimming. Maybe you have a pool or you'll go to the beach and you'd like to take your book to read. However, don't get them wet. Once the book gets wet, you're not going to be able to read it again. Don't leave it in the rain or the sun. If you leave it in the rain or the sun, again, it will get soggy and wet. And maybe even faded. Please return it when you're done. Same thing we talked about at the library. When you're done with a book, or if you borrow a book from a friend, return it, please. Share with a friend, a sister, a brother, your pet, your mom, your dad, so everybody can enjoy the story. Now go out and get another book. Bye, I hope you enjoyed it.